Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call aloud, you Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Shalom and salutation to the hopeful elect out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. All right, shalom to the very, very, very few sisters that do listen up as well on the brother Yarmaya from the great millstone Chicago camp, basically coming back at you with another lesson. And uh, this lesson is concerning um, a statement. You know, we was camping out, as usual, you know, <laughs> on Saturday. And the elder Malcolm, you know, our, our elder here, he had made a statement. And um, he was like, um, it was something to the effect where you don't see that Easter spirit. And ever since we, um, the church has been on a downfall, you know, ever since this word has got out on the Internet. And, and look how it crushed that, that wicked ass Ishtar. Easter spirit, that's all I was thinking about, because so-called Easter, I think, was yesterday. I, I don't know. But we was preaching it on Saturday, and the elder made that statement. And <clears throat> it goes back to another statement that the uh, beloved elder Apostle Gabar had made <clears throat> a little while back, that every time we preach this word, so he said he feels that uh, the society is, is uh, crumbling. Like, every time we go out, a piece of the society is crumbling, you know, something to that effect. You know, and that was a beautiful statement because it's very true, man. You know, and that's why I encourage brothers to do the videos. You know, the apostles, of course, the elders, you know, brothers, you know, encourage all brothers to do their videos. But see, a lot of brothers might get discouraged. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, they might not get a lot of views or might not have a huge following. And, and he saw, um, you know, tempers and manipulates with all that. Don't even trip about that, you know. It's a dude in the alphabet community with 35 million views being a, you know what, you know, we don't, we don't have to trip on views, you know, or likes or shit like that. We in here to get the blood off our hands and to be seen of the Lord. Your work was seen of the Lord and, you know, and not of men, you know, your, your, and the scriptures say prophesied to the wind. All right. The holy angels are giving report, but your labor is not going out in vain, man. It's that one person who might see it or them three people that might see it. And like I tell Jake all the time, like I believe in the spirit, you know, I'm speaking as a man, that we all have surrogates in the world. And what I'm a group of them. And what I mean by that is we have people from different walks of life. That's why how about Shimmy How Sha pick men from different walks of life, pick men from different cultures and, you know, have us go fish because we, we wasn't doing what we was doing because I mean Salaki, we didn't choose to do this because we wanted to do this. The Lord chose us, but the Lord chose us as vessels to wake other people up. You know, that can relate to us. So your ministry, your single ministry is, is powerful, man. Whether you're doing three-minute videos, ten-minute videos, you know, you're the brother with the history, the brother with the Hebrew, you know, and every brother should be, you know, uh, apt to teach, you know, and, and well-rounded in every aspect, you know, sort of like a mixed martial arts champion. But some men are higher than others. Some dudes' background is different, you know, than others in other levels, but... You know, you can, you know, whatever your ministry is, man, even if you're the brother with the ride and the sign, man, to get this word out, man, you fulfill your ministry, man, and you do it, man. Everybody takes a part in ripping this kingdom in half, man, and that's that, that enslaved us so long. So I'm going to get this um, 2 Corinthians 10 and verse uh, <clears throat> uh, 3 so I'm going to just start at 1. It's 2 Corinthians um, 10 and 1, it says, Now I, Paul, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Mashiach, who in the presence and base among you, and being absent, but being absent, I'm bold toward you. All right, so this Paul talking to the, to the church, all right, at Corinth, it says, But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence, wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. Because a lot of people look at us. Even now here, like, you know, we militant or we just some hate group or just a group of angry black and Latino men who lost their job and their girlfriend. Look, we don't care about none of that shit. We preaching the word of salvation. Verse three, to, to deliver our own selves. All right. And our people, we showing love to our people like no other. And we ain't got to start a fucking soup line to do that. The, they said, seal with the apostles say, seal and gold. I do not have for you, but the word of the Lord. All right. And then we get back to the main point. It's verse three. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. 
You know, we're not picking up guns and shit and wearing leather chaps. That's what the so-called white man wants you to do. That's why he put guns in your community. I grew up on the south side of Chicago indulging in very nefarious activities. I understand that this is a true statement that I've seen with my own eyes, man. All right. He put guns in our community because we know we ain't going to do shit but shoot Ray Ray. And Ray Ray going to shoot Pookie and we going to kill each other. And he going to sit his ass back and laugh. You had one clan member talk about how he do the shit. And, and we get to, we do his job for him. All right. But, you know, we are not a militant people. You know, we're not a militant group. We're a group that's ushering in the kingdom of heaven. But this is how we're doing it. By crushing these lies and, this, and making the society crumble when we speak. Verse 3, it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh, through the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. All right? Like all this sexual immorality, Easter, Christmas, Hall Halloween, you know? This whole thing that this demon and this society and this system got going on. All right? This image that he pushes, this image that he upholds. We 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 knock down every part of this this man, this beast man. All right, this beast. All right. Esau, this vile creature that's just been ruling over us and shaming us. Every piece of information that that Negro has received for the last few years, fit for Salakia, for the last few hundreds of years have been delivered to him by the so-called white man. Shit, a hundred years ago, Negroes couldn't even read. They can barely fucking read. Remember that movie, Eddie Murphy, Life? You know, and he was locked up and shit in the South. He reading the letter to the dude. Dude, these niggas couldn't even read, man. But they were from another part of the town that was hip to him, hip to reading. Well, another part of the country. They're from the North, you know, so they was able to read, you know, a little bit. You motherfucker, couldn't nobody in there read. And that was in the, what, the 30s, the 40s? Come on, man. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is working on us to bring this man down. Let me bring that five, that verse five back. It says, casting down imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought and disobedience. Salak, every thought, Salaki, every thought to the disobedience, to Salaki, to the obedience of Mashiach. All right? Because we showing you the light. We showing you the truth. But we tearing this man apart. By doing this, and we cutting you two third niggas, reprobate niggas who want to participate in these steel. That's why in Jeremiah he said these words would be like fire to him. You getting cut, you getting burned. Matter of fact, let me let me get that Jeremiah. I think it's five. Con, this is Jeremiah five and fourteen. It says, Wherefore thus said the word of Yahweh of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. And this people would, and it shall devour them. Because the, the, the word of the Lord is powerful, man. He said he would destroy them with the brightness of his coming. I'm going to get that. He said the scriptures, he uh, said the spirit of the Lord is a consuming fire. All right, but we got to bring this light to the world. That's why the scriptures say, let your light shine. Uh, let your light shine so they can see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. This is what we're doing. Our lights are shining bright. We're destroying this man and we casting him down. And he's and getting pathetic, man. We are really working for you. How about Shimmy? How about Shai? This is our first, uh, no. Yeah, first, first Thessalonians, the second chapter. In verse 5, it says, Remember not that when I was with you, I told you these things. And now that. And now ye know what withhold it, that it might be that it might, that he might be revealed in this time. For the mystery of iniquity do already work. Only he that now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Because because that's when that's when Esau was Esau was in power at this time, man. But they didn't really understand what was going on. We understand what was going on. We understand that. The Romans are the wicked, all right? The Greeks are the wicked. These people, these Edomites are the wicked. All of them Edomites, man. All these people who were born to the seed of Esau, we understand that they are the wicked, man. They are the devil. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? 
what's that, First Maccabees, about 1 and 9, when it goes into Alexander the Great and his four generals, it says, um, the evils were multiplied upon the earth, man, this man is the damn devil, man, and now he's being revealed, he's being made bare in this society, like it says in Isaiah 47 and 1, this man has been called out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. How the things that Esau sought out, Obadiah. How the things that Esau sought out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he got his men doing it, starting with the apostles and the elders on down. Let me get this. Verse 8 again, it says, And then that wicked shall be revealed, whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all signs, powers, and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness. This is how you know this talking about E, man. And them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. For this cause, Yahweh shall send upon them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. But that's why we even still got a couple of our people out here, you know, on the train with Easter baskets and all this bullshit. Knowing the men of the Lord been chopping this place down, man, forever. It said that they might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But, you know, he let it be known that he's going to destroy them with the brightness of his coming. And ultimately, it's going to be those chariots that's really going to destroy your ass and it's really going to be fire. But the word, you know, I had um, had to break out that Jeremiah. You know, that's, that's one of the brother, the elder brother Benji favorites, man. You know. That fire, man. This word is just destroying these people. It's cutting the two-thirds of Israel. It's cutting E. It's cutting the heathens. Shit, it's cutting us. But we're going to be forged in that fire. We're going to be made acceptable through that fire, man. These niggas going to burn, man. And it ain't shit to do. It ain't got nothing to do about it. But you brothers, man, hey, man, your ministry is a powerful thing. If you boast in anything, boast in your how about shit, man, shot, man. So no matter how many views, likes, or whatever, you contribute it to the downfall of this society. So push, the only way to stay on fire for the Lord is to stay on fire for the Lord. I serve. I live to serve and I serve to live. They like the elder brother down in Miami say, the brother lawyer, man, you either going to be on fire for the Lord one way or the other. And I prefer this way. All right? And that's how we go. That's how we got to do it. The Lord said it in the book of Revelations, man. The apostle elder, I always bring out that little... You know, the lukewarm scripture, man. The Lord said he'd rather you, you be on fire. I'd rather you be hot or cold. All right? But because thou art lukewarm, I will spew thee out of my mouth. You you, you don't want to be lukewarm when you how shot for your how shot, man. We we really want to be on fire for your how about shit, man. Shot, man. We really want to be on fire for your how about shit, man. Shot, so... No matter how much it may it, it may look, you know, you you really um contributing to the society to the downfall of the society. I'ma get it. Why do you think they want to block all our pages, man? But but this is so called the land of free speech. This is uh, uh Revelations three and fifteen. It said, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would I would that thou were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. So we don't want to do that, man. We want to be on fire in this thing and know that what we're doing is very beneficial and the most high, as the scripture says, it's not unrighteous to forget our labor of love. But with that being said, call aloud me how Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Makakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us this truth and to the hopeful elect I came out there endure and shallow one.